We have Rainbow Rowl here. Hello. On the, she writes for Runaways. She has two huge things coming out this year, later this year. Pumpkin Heads, which comes out August 27th. That's right. As well as Wayward Sun, which comes out September 24th. That's right. Thank you. I want to talk about Runaways. Uh, me too. I always want to talk yeah. about <laughs> I was about to say, when do we, <laughs> we talk about, right? want to talk about oh, Runaways? You guys are Angelique nice. is a huge fan. Oh, thank you. Thank we you. Are, I thank am a huge you. fan. Oh, thank Hi. you. Hi. <laughs> what is it like to work on one of your favorite Marvel series? Uh, it's really, I mean, it's genuinely a dream come true. And you don't really get to say that about very many things, honestly, yeah. you know? But I, I, this was my favorite Marvel book. And I, when my editor, Nick Lowe, approached me about working for Marvel, I asked if I could bring back Runaways. This is about three or four years ago now. Yeah. And so the fact that that happened, and you know, we didn't know if we'd get, you never know how long you get to write the book. But now we're like prepping for our 25th issue. So it's awesome that I've been doing this for two years. I've worked with wonderful artists, Chris Anka, who you guys I know have met. Um, and now I'm with Andres Genelay, who is yeah. wonderful. So it's, I mean, it's been such an ideal and idyllic experience for me. It really has. Well, and I think that's the coolest thing about working on Runaways is because it is full of life. This is teenage yeah. story. They're superheroes. Each one of them is so uniquely different. And I think that goes a lot into the art and the script and the direction yeah. that you give um, to the artists, but also just working together and collaborating. You worked a long time with Chris. I did. Like, what has it been like also working with Chris, who obviously is amazing covers, but also just like meticulous yeah. at interiors. Meticulous, yeah. Um, how is the process with working with artists, particularly working with new artists yeah. and like getting, really bringing in and tying in that story? You know, Runaways was my first real comics experience. I was writing my um, my graphic novel Pumpkinheads kind of at the same time, but I hadn't really broke it down into scripts the way that I, I was doing with Chris. And so we were bringing back this really beloved team um, and I was working for the first time with an artist like that. And uh, you know, it really, really well because Chris Anka is an incredibly sensitive person. Um, and so we were able to just really click very quickly. We both loved the characters. Um, something Nick Lowe says, our editor, is that Runaways is one of the hardest books to draw mm -hmm. because um, as you said, each character is very different. So there's no like um, standard female body or standard male body. They all look very different and how they dress is very, they all have their own way of dressing. So their posture is very different. Um, when someone else draws Runaways, I'm so used to thinking deep with an artist that if sometimes I'll be like, oh wow, Victor would never stand like that, you know? <laughs> because I've worked with artists who are so grounded in the characters. Yeah. Um, so uh, Chris and I, um, we got really close and we worked so closely together that I was frankly, I cried a lot when Aww. Chris left. Well, because um, Chris also grew up on the Runaways. Oh yeah, he, he was a fan. I think he's much younger than I am. So he was a fan as a young person. Yeah, um, yeah and, I, and I just was like, we can't just give this to anybody. Although. There's so many good artists, so, I, you yeah. know, but anyway, it was such a good partnership. And with Matt Wilson as well, we had the same colorist for most of those um, issues. So uh, working with Andres, though, has been, I really got lucky because yeah. I was nervous. But if you've seen Andres art, it's he's he cares so much about not breaking the vibe. Yeah. So when he first started, he spent a lot of time looking at what Chris had done. And he would talk about how he didn't want to break the rhythm or the vibe. He was worried that wow. people would have whiplash with a totally different style. So um, I think he has tried to sort of like bring his own style into it in a way that is not jarring. Yeah. With, with the art being so unique, yeah. how as a writer do you get into the psyche of such unique teenage characters? Oh yeah. I mean, I loved these characters and that really helps, right? Like I'd spent years thinking about them and caring about them. Um, and I write teenagers. I mean, writing groups of teenagers is kind of my it's day job. Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so I think the reason I asked for this book was I knew I could do it. Like I was like, I can do this. I can write teenagers, I can write romance, I can write talking, I can write all the pain that the runaways experience, the loss, the regrets. I was like, I know I can do this. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's my thing. Box um, the Kleenex and I'm ready to go. Yeah, it is. <laughs> let's go. Chris, Chris, when he left was like, I don't think I've gone a single issue without drawing someone crying. <laughs> I mean, true. also, valid. Valid. Yeah. Valid. <laughs> true. Well, I am really excited. I know we have a couple we social, have, we have a social questions. questions. Oh, social questions. You have okay. a huge, Runaways has a huge fan base. People love yeah. the Runaways and they, they love the show on Hulu. Yeah. So they ask, what's the first story you ever wrote and how old were you? Oh, the first story I ever wrote. Um, the first story I remember re writing was going to the, it was like going to the zoo and I wrote about the gorillas and what they do when the people aren't there. 
And I was in the third grade. <laughs> oh, that's that's amazing. Well, <laughs> I hope that you continue writing stories. Thank you. I hope really I continue writing Runaways. Yes. Read Runaways, everyone. <laughs> um, I will continue reading thank Runaways. You. Thank you. Um, I do have a large collection. But <laughs> thank you so much for being with Thanks us. Thanks for having uh, me, guys. And hope we can talk to you more. Yeah, have a great con.